Assalamu alaikum. So, since I promised to do 30 videos in 30 days, here I go. Uh, we are talking about comfort food. So, in America, we are, tomorrow is a holiday called Thanksgiving. And even though um, I, so every Thanksgiving I go and I visit my family. Um, because it's the one day a year that we all get together, all of my extended family, and so I look forward to it. So, because I eat halal, I normally make my meat and my sides at home, um, and that part of my family, my extended family, they're actually Christian, so there I eat, bring my meat and then uh, and a couple of sides and everybody else makes sides. Most of the sides don't have meat in it and we put all our food together and it's a big potluck and it's delicious. So I thought that I'd come on to, so one of the traditions in America, if you're not in America, is to make a turkey, right? And inside of the turkey is stuffing and there's sides of cornbread and biscuits and all kind of stuff. So what stuffing is, it's kind of like bread and vegetables uh, kind of mixed together. But in order for me to make stuffing, I have to first make cornbread. So. I'm going to show you how I make cornbread. Um, so, number one, I'm gonna try to tilt my camera, right? <laughs> so, here's all my cornbread stuff, right? So, first thing I need, first thing you need is corn meal. So this is the difference between cornbread and biscuits. You need corn meal, so that's what it looks like, right? So, I'm going to use uh, three quarters cup of cornmeal. So I kind of like, so this is a half a cup. And then there's a line inside of my cup to tell me what a quarter cup looks like. So quarter cup, right? And now I need a cup and a, uh, and a quarter of flour. And yes, I do sometimes use plain white flour. When it comes to baking, there are certain things you make, you just can't substitute with wheat flour. So, every so often, I do use white flour. So you're gonna see a couple of things that is a holiday only thing, which is white flour and white sugar. Um, I like to be real with you guys, right? So, quarter cup, and now I need a whole cup. Got a little water in it, cause I just washed it. whole cup of flour and now I need a quarter cup of sugar quarter cup of white sugar can you use brown sugar probably but it is going to come out so here's the difference between using white sugar and brown sugar if you used um if you use brown sugar, the bread is going to be much heavier. I mean, it will still be good, it will still be the proper amount of sweetness, but um, the bread will be heavier. And so, because this is a treat that I literally only make maybe about two times a year. Um, no, three times a year, because I do make it on the two Eids, and I make it on Thanksgiving. Um, I just use the, the, the white sugar. So, um, we did a quarter, we did a quarter cup, uh, three quarters cup of cornmeal, a cup and a quarter of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, I need a half a teaspoon of salt, and um, half a teaspoon of salt, and uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder, two teaspoons. Find a teaspoon here. I'm using a half a teaspoon to measure, so I need to, um, I have to do four of those. Um, half a teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt. Okay, it doesn't have to be super expensive. Just regular old sea salt. Uh, I pour it in my hand so I make sure I don't put too much because you never want to put too much salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go ahead and get my oven on a proper temperature. Your oven should be preheated to 400. So a, a couple of things that I did before I started. Um, I pulled out my pan sometimes. See, this is my old rusty trusty. Everybody got one of these, right? I could have went and brought a nice new shiny pan for y'all, but I wanted to 
show you that I actually cook sometimes. <laughs> so I use this pan sometimes, but also I like to bake inside of cast iron pans. And I started that um, a while ago. I think after I had my first son, I was really, I got really anemic. And when you use uh, cast iron, the iron from the pan literally transforms, transfers into your food. And so it can help a little if that is an issue for you. And so I um, used cast iron sometimes, but this right here is, is a aluminum baking pan. So this is my aluminum baking pan. I spray. Yes, I do. I know people are going to say, that's not even way to spray, but I'm being honest with y'all. I use pan spray. Pan spray. Oven is on 400. I have my uh, flour, my salt, my sugar, my baking, my baking powder, my cornmeal. So that is one bowl, right? So now I need a second bowl. Now sometimes people, also, and um, sometimes what people will do is they will do this in the same bowl, but I like separating it. So I'm gonna go grab my eggs because this is Facebook Live, not a TV show, so I don't have everything. So I use one whole egg, put it in a bowl. Now here is where I am a little innovative. Generally um, you want to use fat free milk, but I don't have fat free milk because I stopped buying it. Um, <laughs> and so I have whole milk, so what I'm going to do is I need a cup of milk, but I don't want all of the fat that's in whole milk so I'm actually going to use a half a cup of whole milk and I'm going to add a half a cup of water because I want to cut the fat and that is again so that um, to improve the texture so it's not about that the milk has too much fat in it it improves the texture of the um, of the bread and lastly oil so if you are looking for a substitute for vegetable oil or canola oil, I recommend sunflower oil, right? It's, um, it, you can use it for baking, you can use it for frying, you can use it for just about everything. So that is what I use. So I need um, a quarter cup. So this is my quarter cup of oil. All right. So I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to grab my whisk. Excuse me. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually mix all my dry ingredients so that they are combined. All right. So now that my dry ingredients are combined, I'm going to actually make a little well in the middle, which means you're going to clear out the middle. Before I add my wet ingredients, I'm going to mix them together. Okay, so now I have my dry ingredients and my wet, wet ingredients combined separately. Now I have to combine them together. So here is the trick to nice fluffy cornbread. You do not want to mix it. Can you see that? I guess. Hopefully you can see that. You do not want to mix it until it's all wet. You just want to get it until the liquid is incorporated into it. And you should still have dry spots. So you see how it's not completely mixed. Now what that does is it's gonna give you a really, sorry, again, cause we're on Facebook Live. It's gonna give you a really light um, bread. So um, kind of like when you make scones and things like that. And you literally just put it in a pan. Spreading the pan around. All right, so I'm getting it as far as I need to. And voila, it goes inside of the oven. 
for 20 minutes. And it's Facebook Live, but I did prepare one ahead of time for you guys. So this is what the final product look like. So this is cornbread that I made and I'm gonna put that down because I literally just took it out of the oven so it's a little warm. Um, so you want it to look about like this when you take it out, but the important thing is that, I wanna find a knife. You can use a butter knife, you can use a fork, or you can use um, a regular knife. You wanna stick it inside of the bread while it's in the oven pull it out and there should be no dough stuck on the knife. That is how you know that it's done. So it's gonna take 20 to 25 minutes and um, you're gonna have yourself some cornbread. And what I will do in a little while, so what I do is I take my cornbread, besides eating a piece, I actually use this as the base to my stuffing. So this is how it comes out and it's nice and moist. And that's my cornbread. So, voila. So, when I make my stuffing, I may come back on in a little while. All right? So, now you know how to make cornbread. You can re, uh, share the video. You can save it on your wall so that next time you go to make something, you will uh, know how to make it. Or make cornbread, rather. You'll know how to make it. Um, and you can go back and see what the ingredients is and the measurements. All right? You guys have an awesome night. I'll talk to you later. Assalamu alaikum.